Having conducted decades worth of research testing the performance of endodontic files, when we see claims like this, we have to ask, is this hype or just BS? We believe that information conveyed through research should be as inclusive as possible, or at least enough so as to be relevant for clinical use. Anything less risks being counterproductive. Now, please understand, we're not implying that Edgendo is intentionally misleading us. We're just concerned that their research isn't as inclusive as it ought to be. Clearly, they'd like us to take note of their file's flexibility and resistance to cyclic fatigue. But using an alternative means for comparison, the Edge file failed to prepare even a single practice block without distorting, while the One Endo file prepared 10 such blocks under identical conditions without showing any signs of distortion or degradation in performance. Truthfully, the Edge file is very resistant to cyclic fatigue, and Edge Endo has done a great job demonstrating this through their research. And why wouldn't they? After all, cyclic fatigue has become a hallmark for marketing Endo files. Whether it's from Edge, Kerr, Denseply, or whomever, they all cite cyclic fatigue as a key indicator of file performance but it's really just one small part of a much larger story. So exactly what does it mean when an unengaged file is able to rotate for the longest time in a stationary position within a curvature? Well, it may mean very little in regards to how that file will actually perform, but measuring forces impacting a moving instrument while it's engaged inside of a canal bears clear relevance to practice and why we contend that our research is so useful. Ensuring the safe and predictable performance of our files is our most important objective, and it's the reason that all of our files perform so well. NanoEndo uses a -a one-of-a-kind device specifically designed to measure the actual performance and efficiency of endodontic files. We call it the Mac Monster because of all the thousands of files it's consumed but it's more aptly described as a computer-controlled clinical simulator. It features a customizable program that drives a servo motor to guide a handpiece through precise insertion and withdrawal motions, carrying an instrument into and out of a canal at a specific rate and speed of rotation, all while recording stresses impacting the file throughout the preparation. Results can then be archived and referenced for future comparisons as we often do using the custom viewer hosted on our website nanoendo.com. Bovine bone, dentin, and plastic blocks all have relative performance characteristics. This is why we like to use standardized practice blocks, because they're best suited for eliminating variabilities during direct comparisons. In this particular instance, we're comparing a 2504 one endo file to the same size edge file X7 to determine which will prepare the most canals with the greatest efficiency and efficacy before distorting or separating. Notice that the edge file distorted and failed almost immediately on its first block. Conversely, the one endo successfully prepared its first block with ease, just as it did the next nine, with no apparent changes in the file, its performance, or in the quality of its preparations. So, the one endo makes a pretty compelling argument, especially considering the condition of both files following testing. Remember, there is an inverse relationship between flexibility and resistance to torsional stresses, and that's the reason the edge file failed. We found that clinical performance cannot be predicted by the sum of just one, two, or even three of a file's component characteristics. The variables are simply too great. Instead, total performance is our final consideration. And considering the one endo performed more than 10 times better than the edge file, maybe we should reconsider that half the cost BS too. Visit nanoendo.com to explore our comprehensive resources and learn more about our research inspired designs. Thanks for watching, and feel free to contact us anytime.